When we're at cruising altitude, the outside air temperature is really cold, minus 45 degrees Celsius. So this is how we heat the cabin. These two knobs control the bleed air heat exchangers. So the hot air coming off the compressor part of each turbine engine goes through a heat exchanger and we can control the temperature of that air coming into the cabin. Now, if it's really, really cold, we have to use an auxiliary electric heater, which you're looking at right now. This little switch controls the fan, high or low. And then we turn on this little rheostat, which turns on the heating element. And that provides auxiliary heat to assist in the bleed air heat. Now, the only way to know if that heater is on is to see it take draw on the amp meter. Now, obviously in the summertime, we don't use the electric heater that often unless we're really, really high altitude. And it's really cold up still at high altitude. We have an air conditioner. I'm just gonna move my coffee out of the way here so you can see the controls for this. Really simple, there's an on and off switch and then a blower switch position, the blower being the fan, high or low that we can turn on. There's a little rheostat there to control the temperature you want to stay at. So there you have it. There are three systems here that help keep the cabin at the right temperature. Happy and safe flying, everybody.